That's right, Tragic is back with more card game weirdness. Here we've got Pirate's Pocket Model Game. Pretty interesting. This is just how easy I am to manipulate. So I get a, a message on Discord from the Card Sphere. Discord, Ted up there in Canada, asks me out of the blue, have I ever heard of this Pirate's Pocket Model Game? And if I may have had some. No, I've never heard of it. So of course I gotta look it up and see what it is. Uh, it's rad, so I'm gonna get, go ahead and get some and show it off on the channel. So here we go. This is um, these are like constructible models. I, uh, there's uh, apparently like Star Wars um, pocket model games like this, which yeah, I got some of those too. I'm gonna show those off as well. Um, but this is boats. It's pirates. I'm gonna open a few of these. I wanted to do one of these, one of these, and maybe the. Spanish main also so I'm gonna save some of these to maybe play with my kid um, but for now take a look and see what's in this so Pirates at Ocean's Edge um, looks like they did have you know a tie-in with the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise which that makes sense right but the idea is you open this up and there's like a little card in there with a punch out and you make a boat and then you play like a tactical boat nautical game with this uh, yeah, I'm a nerd, so I do want to do that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna tr give it a try. And uh, from what I've seen online, there's like, you can get like, you know, uh, forts and maybe islands and like treasure. And there's like a whole game to this. So I assume like you might roll some dice at some point, which I love that. So let's see, bone crushing crabs and prehistoric sharks plague the unknown waters of pirates at ocean's edge. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Tempt fathomless whirlpools, promising unch uncharted territory rich with gold or destruction to any foolish enough to enter. I'm sold. Totally sold. I'd never heard of this kind of stuff before. Uh, each game pack contains two ships or one ship and one sea monster. I gotta get a sea monster. Uh, a whirlpool or a treasure game rolls and a die. So there's a dice in here. So, all right, let's take a look. So it's got an easy open pack arena there. Give it a try, so. Wow, it's like sealed up pretty good, so. Wow, that's cool. Check it out. So we've got right here the HMS Ricketts. And so then you've got some uh, some stats to go with it. So this ship gets plus one to her cannon rolls against any non-pirate ship. So the idea here is that you would like punch this out. Okay. And then uh is that enough to make a whole boat out of? This must be like a small ship, right? And then you got what? A mizzen mast and a sail here. And a pirate flag, so. This is all plastic. So that's actually probably more durable than if these were cardboard punch outs. It's kind of cool. All right. Um, oh, okay, great. So this is, <laughs> I was gonna say that doesn't seem like much. Okay, so that's one of two and two of two so there's a lot more to this boat that's gonna be pretty cool so i might have to like time lapse me putting this together and let's see how it turns out so there's the there's the flag uh hopefully is there instructions wow is that the interior hms rickets and then wow that's cool here's the, all the mast and the sails that's really cool and so it's got a dice of three on it and a barrel. So I guess I'd have to read if I want to know how to play this game. Well, something like that, you know. I think you want your pirate flag to be waving in the wind better than that, so there must be a better trick to that that I don't know. But you get the idea. I made a, a little pirate boat. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. So um, then you would go about like kind of playing a game with this. Where else would this 
thing go, I wonder? Well, there it is. Well, let's take a look at some of these others, though. And <laughs> I can sail the, sail the seas with my boat there. Let's see, we've got a crew card, a cannoneer, and you'd punch this out. Once per turn, one of the ship's cannons may shoot again if it misses. That's cool. Oh, you got a musketeer on the other side. This ship gains one three dice cannon that may not have its range or, or cannon roll increase. It can shoot from any mast, even an elevated mast or an eliminated mast. Great. Got some treasure. One, two, three, four. It's the captain. He's cursed. The ship may move and shoot using the same move action. This game sounds kind of fun. This is Sargasso Sea, so this is cardboard, so it doesn't need to be like put together. So you can pop this out. You've got uh, you got an island on one side, or you can flip it to the Sargasso Sea and float your pirate ship on it. That's awesome. And then you got probably how oh, interesting Sony Online Entertainment. So there must have been a game tie-in for this. It's online. You can play the game online. I'm sure it's probably defunct by now. When was this? 2007, WizKids uh, is the maker of the cards. And then Sony Online Entertainment is now Daybreak Entertainment. And they used to make uh, EverQuest and EverQuest 2 and a bunch of other games like Star Wars Galaxies. Yeah, I played those too. Um, so this game probably no longer exists. Um, we got, let's see what else we got. The USS Plymouth Rock. So another boat we can put together. And that's just a one card, so that's a little bit smaller. And then you've got uh, Victor de Alva. Uh, so he's a crewmate. And maybe that does some stuff. So here's a... Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, that's that's how they get a dice in there. They make it e e extremely tiny. That is really funny. And then you could, you know, pop that out. I was wondering, like, how do you get a, how do you get a dice into this pack? <clears throat> this is definitely the smallest dice I've ever seen in my life. That's cute. Look at that thing. So you just roll that, and I got, you know, a one. <laughs> That's really funny. And then I guess, you know, this would be the rules here. Complete game rules. Yep, start here. Oh, it's like a... Hopefully there's a treasure map on the back of one of these as an insert. That would be great. Oh, yeah. Important and <laughs> learn how to do what I just did without knowing it. So there's instructions on how to put together the boats and the order that they go in. I think I mostly got it right. So the looks like the flag goes on the back, or is that the rudder? That's it looked like a flag. So anyway, oh, and there's like a sea dragon you can put together. So I actually have to say that I absolutely love this, and I'm probably gonna maybe try to play this with my kid. Um, and uh, yeah, he's seven right now, so it'll be like simplified rules, but I think we're gonna have some fun. So, all right, that was that one. I'm gonna open another one. I'm gonna do the fire and steel. Um, I'd like to get a sea monster though. Let me, hold on. Let's go ahead and do the rise of the fiends. So hopefully there's a fiend in here. Two ships, game rules, treasure card. No, no. If there's fiends, why would there not be, uh, okay, yeah, there's cursed creatures. It says there might be creatures in there, so I'd like to see that. All right, we got, this ship looks cool. What is this? The HMS Pride, so that's not a pirate ship. That is a Royal Navy ship. Still, that looks really cool. Look at the sails, that's gonna be cool. So I could put that all together, but I think I will not right now. The Calico Cat. Oh man, look at her. She is quite a winch. We got the weasel and a crew. El Phantasma. He is he a captain or his crew? Here's a fog bank and another island. What kind of pirate are you? Good question. And there's a little tiny dice in there. That's hilarious. So did not get a sea monster. Uh, maybe in some of these other packs. Where is there one in this one? Treasure card. Nope, nope. I need a sea monster. Maybe I'm not gonna get one. That's okay. I'll open one more. Let's open the fire and steel. 
and uh, then we'll call it a day here and I will get to work on plundering the Caribbean get the grand vein queer uh, is it the French flag it sounds like a Spanish name once per turn one of the ship's cannons can shoot again if it misses well, that's probably a pretty good deal Captain Arazier to control of the Grand Vainquare and led her on a string of victories over the English that allowed the French, this is a French flag, yep, time to build up their global fleet. Very cool. So we got blue trim on this on this boat. Looks like a cruise ship on the side there. Very cool. Oh, actually, this one has three cards, so this one is a really big boat. That must look amazing when it's all put together. Bunch of sails, and then you got the cannon actually blasting out the side of it. That would be so cool. I'm sold. And then you got the USS Buffalo, a little American ship. That's really funny. And uh, it's just the two pieces. You just got a flat boat and a little flag, but it gets plus one to her boarding rolls. Oh, this game looks like a lot of fun. Um, oh, there we go. That's the second card for the Buffalo. Good. It's not just like a little dinghy. There we go. What else do we get? No sea monsters. We got a Sargasso Sea. And we got a Musketeer. And some tokens to punch out for treasure. So, and another little dice. So, hey, this looks like a lot of fun. What do you guys think? Did you ever hear of this thing? Have you ever played this? Um, I think I'm going to do the Star Wars one um, and show that one off eventually. And go to town playing with boats. All right, I wanted to show off. A couple more of these, so here we go. There we go, and I did figure out that the pirate flag kind of goes on the back like that, I believe. There we go. The weasel. Very cool. I'll show that off over there. Get my the HMS Ricketts. There you go, that, that turned out pretty good. HMS Pride. Very cool. Right, so now, yep. Now you've got a post for your cannon to move on to. Push that down like that, so now it turns. And there. <laughs> hey, that's actually really cool. All right, and then we'll put the fire on last. Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> oh, that's lame. Uh, after all of that, well, I'm gonna have to now tape that together because I can't just let that not happen, right? All right, so here's the back. So that's definitely a little drawback with this plastic stuff. It can snap, especially after fiddling with it for so long. You get the little French flag goes on the back here. All right, so I'm gonna do a little emergency repair here and we'll finish this up. Okay, I've got some super glue here to try to do a little bit of repair. I'm thinking I'm actually gonna put this into the spot first and then I'll hold it 
I'll hold the super glue onto the main mast. Oh man, totally broke it again. Oh no. Yeah, so that's definitely like a problem spot right there. I gotta get the remains of this tab to just get in there. There, okay, it's just barely in there. And then there's a piece that fell out. So now I'm gonna super glue this onto that and hope that it works. Let's see how it goes. Try not to get it on my play mat either. All right, there it is. It's definitely not aligned very good, but it is together. To fix my other mast here a little bit. And then put the fire on my cannon. We're gonna call it a day. These things are a little fragile when you put them together. So that's definitely a little drawback with this, but they sure look awesome once they're all put together. So there it is, There's my pirate ships that I put together out of the pirate's collectible card game, constructible card game. So fun stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. Have a good one.